Tanya is with us. Tanya is in New York City. Hi, Tanya. How are you? Hi, Dave. Hi, John. Been listening to you guys since May 2020. Thank the pandemic. Wow. Um, I'm currently, yes, <laughs> I'm currently on Baby Steps 2 um, with a student loan, $6,000, and car lease. I know, don't hate me, Dave, uh, $6,000. I bring home 6500 a month. My car lease ends February 2023. Um, I have a baby step three question. What do I do first? Do I save for the three to six emergency fund or save for my next car? Three to six emergency fund. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the car, the car, car upgrades and couches and home purchases and vacations and all those things are fine after you have an emergency fund in place. But if you do those things without an emergency fund in place, you are inviting an emergency. 100%. Gotcha. You'll have it. Yeah, you're just kind of like gotcha. looking at the rain clouds going rain on me. Taking yes, all of your precious things with- in the yard and saying, you won't rain on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do it. Do it. Yeah, do it. just make sure you finish the, you know. And so we stay gazelle intense until we get through baby step three. $1,000 in the bank is one. Be debt free, but the house is baby step two. Emergency fund of three to six months of expenses. That's the foundation that you build your life on financially. And so you stay very intense, very focused. Don't buy anything until you get those three things done. When you've got those things done, then you save up and you get a better couch. You get a better car. You get a better house. You get a better whatever it is. Um, and you're paying cash for the move up and all of that, of course, so we don't go back into debt. But that's exactly how that, that you move from intensity to intentionality at that point.